my name is Laura E. Hall, and I'm here today to talk to you about small worlds. So how small is the world exactly? Um, is it possible to do six degrees of separation? The idea that we are connected through other people by only six degrees to anyone else in the world? And is it possible to find a man using only his photo and first name? The answer to that is yes, sort of. A little bit of context, I used to play this genre of online game called Alternate Reality Games, or ARGs. This was a multimedia game that played out online through the internet and also in real life with stuff happening with actor interactions and stuff. And then there was usually a team of writers um, who were responding live to things that players were doing. And the ARG that I got super into was called Perplex City. And this is a game that ran from 2006 to 2008. The way that this game worked, it was very puzzle focused and they released puzzle cards that came in foil packs that you could buy at your local game store. These ranged in difficulty from easiest, those were red cards, to most difficult, which were black and silver. The silver cards were meant to be nearly impossible to solve, but most of them did get solved by the time that the game ended in 2008. And there was one card in particular that I was interested in. On the card it says in Japanese, find me, and it has this man's photograph. Then there was a hint line running at the time that said, my name is Satoshi. And that was all of the information that we were given. We were told Satoshi had consented to participate and he had a password for whoever found him. Players also identified that the background was in France. And that was all of the information that we had. We were only given that, and we were expected to locate this person um, wherever he was in the world and get the password from him. So at the time, obviously, the internet was a little bit different. This was Web 2.0. There were these new exciting sites called YouTube and Facebook, and we really felt so strongly that these were going to connect us with each other and, and sort of open up the world to us, and we would be able to do six degrees of separation because surely this person was only a couple of steps away from us. I even managed to go to Kaisersburg myself um, and stand on the spot where the photograph was taken. But... That was in 2007, and you know we, we did a lot of work. You can check it all out on findsatoshi.com, but in the last 14 years, not much happened. There were some sort of random increases in interest every once in a while, but it was pretty quiet. That is until February 2020, when I went on the YouTube channel Inside a Mind to talk about the project. This is a channel that discusses games and ARGs and unsolved mystery kinds of stuff. Uh, note that the view count of that is 1.3 million views, so that obviously got it in front of a ton of people. It was a bit quiet that year, and there was an active Reddit and Discord, and then came December 2020. This is a recreation of the scene. I was sitting at my desk, I was recording a podcast with some people, and I got an email. This email. It says, hi there, found an image today that looks quite similar to him. What do you think? Regards, Tom, with a link to Reddit. And it was a link to this picture. Tom had put it into um, PIM Eyes, which is a reverse AI facial recognition software. And it turned up with this picture. Um, further research led to this image and the name of this man who was Satoshi. And he is indeed identical to our Satoshi. And then he confirmed that he was, in fact, our Satoshi, the one we had been looking for. So that was how I rounded out December 2020 uh, by solving this puzzle that had eluded me for 14 years. Some extra information was posted by the puzzle designer, Jay Biddulph. He had stuff about what the password was supposed to be, some additional photographs and things. Um, but I also wanted to share, this is me and Jay in 2006 and me and Jay in 2021. We met playing Perplexity, dated long distance, and are now married. He has kept the secret of Satoshi for the last 14 years because he knows that if he had just come out and told me, I would have been really upset. And then this is me video conferencing with Satoshi. And it was great experience, and I was really, really happy to finally be able to make that connection, close the loop, hear the pu puzzle password myself, and... Uh, have that resolution finally. Um, I felt very connected to the community, felt connected to Satoshi. Obviously I met my husband through this game and so I do think that the world is both vastly larger than we think but actually fundamentally that we are all connected within it and I think that's important to remember. Thank you very much.